I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Starter Ups and Rare Crows episode 18, I think. And this is, I, like I mentioned yesterday, in yesterday's video, episode 17, um, it's, the, the series is, uh, coming to an end here. This is the second to last video in the series, and we are collecting more and more of the things, and we're getting closer to the point where all of the uh, all of the various things we need to have are coming together. It's like in the uh, in the community center series. We only had like two bun or two plaques completed, if that, up until about the last day, and then on the last day we completed everything at once. It's pretty much the same in this. Uh, we get everything pretty close to being able to be completed. All the star, star drops and rare crows that can be amassed. We like we we get close to finishing them all, but we don't finish them. We don't finish all of them just yet, and then everything goes at once, and suddenly the challenge is over. That's basically how this goes. So uh, this is just um, just me going through the mines, uh, continuing to grind for the dwarf scrolls two and four, I believe. I'm pretty sure I already have the one and three. Uh, I think that was me getting Dwarf Scroll 2, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember the colors exactly. It might have been another Dwarf Scroll 3. Yeah, that probably is, because it looked like I throw, threw it away. So, like I mentioned, uh, the Dwarf Scrolls were something I had to get, because you have to trade with the Dwarf, and to do that you have to get the Dwarven Translation Guide. To get the Dwarven Translation Guide you have to... Uh, you have to get all four of the scrolls, so it's a necessity to uh, to get all four of the scrolls. Fortunately, they're pretty easy to get if you're just like purposely trying to get the scrolls. So that's that was pretty easy. The crab pots, I haven't mentioned this, but I actually I almost messed up with catching every fish because I forgot to put down crab pots for such a long time. And I'm not sure if there's season restricted crab pot items. I have no idea. I don't really use crab pots except when I'm trying to catch every fish. And as a result, I often forget that um, the crab pot fish actually count for fish that you have to catch to catch every fish. Which makes sense, I suppose, in a way. It's easy to forget, though, that they count towards that. I think the... Um, I think green and white algae and also seaweed count towards the fish that you have to catch for that as well. There's not really any way to know if those count, because you can't control when you get them, they just happen. So you can't avoid getting them and see if you can still get the achievement. Unless you do like save editing I guess, but you know, where's the fun in that? So I'm thinking that I might have to stop doing Stardew for a while after this series comes to an end, because there's just not many interesting challenges left to do. I've pretty much covered the basics, the the fun ones to watch with Community Center in one year, uh, one million gold in one year, uh, this one, Startups and Rare Crows in one year. So those are really the interesting ones to watch. I guess I could redo it and do like, you know, one year get two and a half million, which would be much harder than getting one million, but I think I could still probably manage it. Or I could turn getting... Uh, like, I could continue on from the save from one year one million, the series that I did. Uh, I could continue that on into two years ten million, and that would be something that I could do. Try to get another nine million earned in the second year. Which is totally possible. Uh, I actually already know how I would do it. Basically, it would boil down to, um... I would use the 800,000 gold that I have, and I would buy many, many, many sprinklers, and start planting basically as many crops as I can every season with sprinklers, just so I don't have to water them every day. And I would fill up the, um the greenhouse all the time with starfruits, because starfruits, of course, are really good. Just doing the starfruits alone, I think, would get me, like, I think I did the math, and it was something like 4 million gold just from the starfruits in the greenhouse. Plus, I would get an absurdly large amount of money from growing starfruits during the summer, 
Of course, I would, at the beginning of summer, buy as many as I could to fill up my as much of my field as possible, even if I have to water some of it at that point. So that would be basically that plan. Uh, if you guys want to see two years, 10 million, leave a comment down below because I can do that. Like, if you guys would be interested in seeing that challenge, I would be more than up for it. And it would give me something to do to continue Stardew Valley on this channel for a while. And yeah, I don't know what I'll do besides that. Um, I actually messed up there. I forgot that you had to upgrade your house in order to get married. So I could have finished this challenge sooner because I could have... Basically the only thing that stopped that made this challenge go on a little bit longer is the fact that I had to build up favor with Leia. There's the star drop from giving Old Master Cannoli statue the sweet gem berry by the way. Um, the only thing that stopped me from completing this challenge earlier is I had to get up to 13 hearts with Leia and that took time. I probably could have finished it at least a few days earlier if I had already had my house upgraded but I completely forgot that you had to do that. So we're coming up on the end of the video now. Hope you guys are all enjoying this series. This isn't the second to last video so if you are enjoying the series remember to leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys all in the next video.